Good morning, everyone. How are you doing on this beautiful Ohio day? So, a bunch of you have been asking me for a property update, and that's exactly what this is going to be. And as you guys can see, it is really filled in beautifully. Where I'm currently standing, just about right here last year, is where the auction was when we purchased this place almost exactly a year to this date. Now we didn't take ownership until like late August, early September. But uh, yeah, this was pretty much just land, woods. We came in, we cleared a ton of it and uh, brought in a ton of material and put the parking lot in here, the pad for the building and the driveway that goes all the way out. We also, installed the pillars like you saw at the beginning of the video the gates are done we just life has been pretty hectic as you guys know uh so we have we haven't had time to rent a uh welder we have to get a uh what do they call it like a welder that can come out on a truck basically so they can put them on and yeah honestly i just haven't had the time to get that all set up we also put the salt bunker in, which, yeah, I've explained to a bunch of you that that probably was my worst decision, uh, timing-wise, unknowingly, though, I'll say it like that. We had no idea that a local company was literally going to start selling bulk salt, you know, in our area. And uh, to be honest with you, bringing in bulk salt on our own, paying for it, compared to going there, which is local... We only save about 16 bucks per ton. So you gotta make up a lot of tons to make up for what this bunker pretty much costs us, which was roughly about 10 grand. So uh, yeah, I'm not going to get rid of it because we, know, we don't know if that company's gonna stay in business long-term. You just never know. People sell things all the time. So we will keep the bunker. We will uh, convert it and use it for now. Uh, you know, for equipment. Probably more likely it'll be the salt spreaders and stuff temporarily. I need to actually get all this stuff uh, covered up, including all of that wood. But like I told you all, life happened and things happen. You know, Savannah's brother passing away. We never foreseen that uh, coming completely out of the blue. I mean, he worked on our pillars just a few months ago and uh, I helped him one day. And yeah, I mean, Life, life's been pretty crazy and things happen and uh, it slows things down. With that being said, the building plans are done. They're, I, I don't think we signed them just yet because technically we have to have the loan first, which that's taking a little bit longer. We made a little bit of a mistake. So to go into it real quick, I went to get the loan for the building and they're like, hey, you have a loan on the property. We're not gonna pay to put this couple hundred thousand dollar building onto your property that another bank technically has the loan on, if you know what I'm saying. So <laughs> we had to go back to the bank that we got the loan for the property on and say, hey, we need a loan for the building. And they're like, okay, well, these are the options. And these options aren't all beneficial to us, I should say it like that, because, you know, prices and things have changed uh, since even just last year at this point. If you guys remember, I shared a little bit, when we first bought this property, the company that gave us a loan, we were locked in at like 4%, I thought. Well, come to find out there's this like little check bark thing, make sure you read your fine print. And uh, we went for a signing day and it went up to 6.6%. So not anything crazy, but it does cost us thousands of dollars over the life of the loan, which is 15 years. Anyway, so building is coming, okay? We're doing a 50 by 80 building. Uh, I have made a few changes to it that you guys will see, uh, you know, whenever we get there. So that's where we're at with the building. The gates now, the gates are done. They turned out phenomenal and exactly what we wanted. With that being said, electrical. We're still trying to get electrical here. Uh, basically, uh, with the whole cove error, it takes a while to get things installed. And uh, we were told roughly eight months. It's been eight months exactly, and we still don't have electrical here. So, yeah. And all we're trying to do is put in temporary electric so we have it here on the property. And then uh, 
you know, we can at least get the shop. That's our main priority right now is to get the shop so we can get all of this stuff, equipment, everything, the truck trailer set up, stored away, and it's not at my house all over the yard, if you know what I'm saying. So we've already brought quite a bit of it over here. Everything is under security here. And uh, yeah, that's kind of where we're at with the property. So enough chit-chatting. <laughs> So this area here, I'm gonna have to get dug out and we'll end up doing bridges in here. I'm try not to get stuck. I didn't get stuck technically. I just got stopped. I sank like a turd. <laughs> We're not cutting that part. the entire trail and my plans eventually are to dig this entire I guess creek or whatever it is coming down the runoff from the top pond I plan on digging that out and then doing a bridge over it really dressing it up on both sides and uh, anyways yeah that's a no-go zone right now I think what happened is down here where the kids were driving through it with the UTV last year it dammed it up basically. So all the water sitting in there and it just needs cut through so it can run on down the property and out the backside. But I'm not gonna cut it. <laughs> you get it raw and real here.
I had a big widow maker through here somewhere and I can't find it. I don't know if it fell finally. For some reason I thought it was there. I'm gonna have to keep my eyes out. It might be further back. Alright guys, so I'm about a quarter of the way done with the pass, but I don't want to film this whole thing. I actually want to enjoy my time here because this has been the real first time this season, 2023, that I've been able to get over here and actually enjoy a little bit of the property. And uh, the best part about it is just being quiet. sound of nothing but nature. It's absolutely beautiful. All right, I got almost all the pass done. I still got about, I don't know, 350 feet down the other right side. Got a trail cut in for the kids to ride the UTV. Got the property on the roadway all cleared back up on the top field by the top pond. Got about, I don't know, 10 stripes back, but losing daylight and I'm hungry. As always, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. TQ up. Peace. Bye-bye.